How to use ZipBooks in 2021 ZipBook is a simple accounting software that will give you the tools and intelligence to take your business to the next level. So first, what you have to do is sign up. Right here, you can see that they're offering different business plans. So what I'm going to do is sign up for free now. So you have to provide a company name. I will go with how to digital and then my email and set up a password. Get started. And voila, guys, that was so easy. Now we are all signed up for our zip books. Now you can see that this is the dashboard for zip books. And here you can see all the components that we will discuss today. So up first, we can go ahead and check out our dashboard. This is the financial performance where you will see your revenue, expensive profit slash your loss. Then there are expenses and tracked time. So you can go ahead and see your invoices, transactions, reports, contacts, tracking and payroll. So now we will get into these one by one. Up first, let's go to transactions. So first of all, let's go ahead and set up our account. Right here, you can go ahead and customize your company name and everything. Name is how to digital and then you can add any of the address. Let's go with this and save. After that, you can go ahead and add any of the phone number and then save add any of your website right here and then you can just go ahead and save that also you can upload a logo right here i'm just gonna go ahead and quickly grab logo just this pink color maybe so yeah once you do that you can go ahead to your accept payments so now in account you can see there is a company that we just set up then we go to accept payments here you can add your payment method which is square PayPal, Stripe, and LawPay. You can go ahead and select any of these and connect. After that, there is a team option, which is for the upgrades. Yeah, an upgrade is required for this. So we can just go ahead and add any of the teams if we wanted to. Just simply go ahead and add. And you can just have to add the email and add the details, send and invite. You can add any of your team members here, your accountant, your HR, or any of the employees that are working for you. You can just simply create a team right here. Then there is a document option. An upgrade is required for this too. After that, there is location where you can go ahead and add the location of your company. Right now, we have just added a random address and this is where it will show. After that, there is preferences where you add your general preferences, for example, your credit card processes and accounting preferences, you can go ahead and fill this out as you want to. After that, there is integrations. And here you can see that all of the integration that ZBook is giving you, which is Square, Custo and Slack. You can go ahead and connect them right here. After that, there is a subscription option in the account where you actually go ahead and save any of your subscription to the accounting plan. This was account. Let's go to transactions now and let's see what we have in transactions. Now here we have in transactions, we can just go ahead and connect any of the bank. All you have to do is click on connect bank and okay, this thing I have to verify my email. But what you have to do is just simply go ahead and connect your bank right here and add the details. Then there is a sales option. In sales, you can go ahead and do the same or you can just simply go ahead to add and you will see that there is a custom option. I can go here and customize anything. I can just go ahead with a name and category. Then I can select cash. So in the categories, I just added cash. Then there could be any tags if you want to, but I do not have any tag right now. So I'm just going to create a tag and yes, you can create a tag like this, save and a tag is created and you can just go ahead and add any notes and drop to upload after that save and it will be saved right here. You can see. And you can now go ahead and do the transactions manually or connect any bank. After that, there is an expenses option. It's literally the similar. You can go ahead and 
add right here and go to custom or transfer deposit or expenses i showed you the custom let's let me show you the transfer what happens in transfer is same you add any amount let's go with 50 from account i'll go with cash to account okay after that transfer name just go with transfer tags i'm going with the same tag that i just created then again you can add notes and upload anything you want to save once you do that you can see that it's saved right here then we will go to bank transactions and here you can see all of your bank transactions you can literally add them right here or you can add any of the new transaction by custom transfer or deposit our expense option that are given here then there is reconciliation where you also connect a bank so what you have to do is just go ahead and connect a bank okay they're saying again and again that i have to verify my email so why don't i just go ahead and verify my email real quick and come back so yeah guys i just verified my email and now you can actually get a clear look what was happening so these are the transaction in which we created in sales and expensive so we were on reconciliation so what happened here is that you can just go ahead and connect any bank right here after that all you have to do is just add your information and your bank will be added here you can add different categories for example sales marketing advertisement or any other you can see that there are a lot of customized categories also given so you can go ahead and select any of these just to cash okay i will select this one then you can go with liabilities and expenses advertisement anything you want to so you can just go ahead and select these or if you want to delete any you just simply select those let me just deselect these because i don't want to delete them okay so what will happen is if you want to delete any of these you can just go ahead and click right here and delete this category it will be gone for example if it does not exist in your company or you do not need it then you can simply delete that after that there is a tags option you saw i just created a tag of book if i want to add any other tag i will simply go ahead and create a tag give it a name and then type save and you can see that this tag is also created now you can go ahead and do it according to custom location contact and project okay after that there is recurring create a recurring transactions okay for example some transactions are recurring you want to create a template with option that future transaction will be based on so you can go ahead and create a recurring transaction right here all you have to do is maximum number 10 for example this transaction will be 10 times okay so once you fill this up you can simply go ahead and save it after that there is a bills option in transaction where you see all of your bills you can go ahead and add a bill right here or from this green button above you will notice that there is this button is available on all the option all you do is just click on that and create your bills or anything you want to after that you can just go ahead and fill this up you can add the vendor and title terms notes and attach any of the documents that you want to and your total bill will be shown here go ahead and save it or add any of the payments that you want to save right now so once you fill this up all you have to do is go ahead and save then there is a manage banks option where you can actually manage your different banks and add different banks for example you want to connect more than one bank then you can go ahead and do right here in your transaction after that there is a so we've been through count and transactions right then let's go to contacts all what happens in contacts is that you can add any of the contacts that you want to you can simply go ahead and click here you can add the first name and all of the details and email you just have to select a country and you can add your website and say so this way you can add any of your contacts that right here and you can add more than one just go ahead and click here and create a list of your contacts right here after that there is invoices let's go to invoices let me show you around 
so what happens in invoices is that you can create your invoices all you have to do is just click right here and you can create any invoice that you want to your logo will be shown here you can add your customer right here your title option then your title right here description any task you want to add and then you will add your item after that i can go ahead and add another item i do not want to you can simply go ahead and delete after that there are different terms you can add your terms right here and then add your notes after that all you have to do is save add payment finalize for sending once i click on finalize on for sending it will be sent to the particular email that i will add or if i select any contact so all you have to do is just fill this up and finalize for sending or if you want to add payment right now i do not have added any payment or i do not want to send it to somebody so that's why i'm leaving it blank like this okay so further in invoices you get estimates recurring items and reminders you can go ahead and add any of the reminders you want to add simply click here add the deadline for example five reminders email this will be the email and body will be okay just go ahead and pay it enable it and save so once i do that i will get a reminder of my payment or anything that i added you can see sent five days after due date so this will be like my reminder if i want to add any after that we can go to reports and we can go to all of after that in reports you will see all of your reports right here your financial statements accounting and tax in financial statement you can see income statement balance sheet income statement percentage of the sales cash flow statement in accounting and tax you can see your tax invoice your general journal that's like a tongue twister okay trial balance and account receivable sales summary invoice summary credit card processing in the sales then in the expenses you can see your expense summary 1099 summary your billable expenses and then in your team and tracking you can see your user summary and time tracking so whatever you want to see the reports on and you want to manage it and control it you can go ahead to your reports and get all of the summary of everything what's happening in financial statements or accounting and tax sales team and tracking or expenses so all you have to do is just go ahead and it will show you all of the summaries for example you want to see the income statement so you will go here and see your income statement after that there is a tracking option where you can actually track time so what happens here is you can simply track time of any of the projects for example i want to create a project then you can add this your okay you'll have to add your project one detail add your billing method which will be project rate hourly rate will be 10 and the budget is for example 100 and my description is project one and two after that you can just go ahead and you will see that these are the team members i will be the owner of this project and this is the team member that will be working on it and i'm gonna go ahead and save this project once the project is saved i can add it right here and the customer will be how to digital which is my like team member name and then you can add description simple so you can go ahead and track your time it will start tracking you can just simply stop it and then it will give you an overview of when a person worked on this like for example it, she or he worked for 13 seconds you will see the time right here and you can actually go ahead and change the users contacts projects start date end date everything will be here after that there is a project option in the tracking where we just created a project you can go ahead and click here and add any new project and add your new members and time and pay here you will see that how many hours a person has worked and how much you have to pay them and when it is due for example if i have paid someone i will just simply mark paid or i can mark all as paid so yeah i showed you around invoices transaction report contact tracking and payroll 
this is the books i hope i was a big help to you if you're just a beginner and starting to know about zip books it's an awesome app to use as an encounter so go ahead and try it make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe